see if at any one point in time in history they were in fact part of the same diamond crystal. So let me give you a little bit of history about the stones that we're talking about. The Hope Diamond, 45 and a half carats, fancy deep blue, now resides in the Smithsonian. But in the 1650s, it was brought back from India. It was the Tavernier Blue, a polished crystal that came to France. Tavernier sold it to King Louis XIV, who had his diamond cutter cut it into what they called the French Blue. It was a triangular cushion, uh, beautiful uh, blue diamond, deep blue diamond. It was the uh, blue diamond of the crown. And it was put into a jewel that they called the Order of the Golden Fleece. And this was a jewel that they gave to people of royalty and nobility for doing good things. And it was sort of a jewel that just kind of went around and floated around. And it came back to the crown. And in the 1700s, when the French Revolution took place, that jewel, the French blue diamond, was, well, it just came up missing. They say it was stolen, but most of the stolen jewels were recovered. This one was not. And the reason I'm kind of pausing with this is because in the archives section of the Roskin Gem News Report, you will read a story that talks about whether Henry Philip Hope was a jewel thief. Somehow, that blue diamond, the, the French blue, made its way to England. And in the process, the tips of the French blue were polished off, and it became what we now know as the Hope Diamond. It's a nice big cushion shape. So how did that happen? Well, a little side history. The curator at the Museum of Natural History in Paris at the time is a gentleman named Howie, mineralogist. There's a jeweler in Paris at that time named Atchard, and they are friends, and they're also friends with Henry Philip Hope. So the jewels go missing during the French Revolution, but there's no record of any of the thieves actually taking the French blue, but it's gone. And now, all of a sudden, it shows up in London 20 years and two days after the fact, two days after, in fact, Napoleon lifts the statute of limitations on any crimes of the state, and now the Hope Diamond comes out. And of course, the tips of the triangular-shaped diamond have been polished off, so no one really recognizes it as the original French blue, but everybody kind of wonders about it. Several years later, in the 1850s, the mold of the French blue was donated to the Museum of Natural History in Paris by Atchard's son with a tag that says property of Henry Philip Hope. So you figure that out. Anyway, in the archive section of the